Welcome back everyone. I am excited to share with you another gem-filled story. I plan on keeping it short this week, however, I hope that you'll still be impacted nonetheless. The story that I have for you is of a world-renowned musician. He's considered to be the reigning virtuoso of the violin. At the age of three, he was considered too little to start violin lessons, so he taught himself on a fiddle until he was old enough to be accepted into a program. At the age of four, he contracted polio and was left to walk with braces, leg braces, and crutches. But this did not stop him from becoming a musician who would go on to be invited to play on stages around the world. Have you guessed who it is yet? Itzhak Perlman. If you've never had an opportunity to listen to one of Itzhak's performances, take the time to look him up right here on YouTube. I guarantee you, you'll see just how amazing he is. In November of 1995, as he was performing in Lincoln Center in New York City, just as he was a few bars into his piece, it said that one of his strings popped. According to an article that was written about this evening, it rang off like a gunshot and it left everyone stunned. The audience wondered, what is he going to do next? Now I can tell you if it were me, I probably would have packed my things and walked off the stage. But this is not what Itzhak did. He took a moment, closed his eyes, then indicated to the conductor to start over from the beginning. Those who were in attendance said that he played with a passion they had never seen him play with before. And when it came to the end, everyone jumped to their feet and applauded just how beautiful the piece was. They also said that you could see that as he was playing, he was adjusting his strings, he was modulating the piece, as well as recomposing as he went along. Now, if you're a violin player, you can imagine that it is difficult to continue playing a piece with just three strings, but he made it happen that night. I had to ask myself the question, how was he able to do this on the fly almost? How was he able to adjust and continue playing this piece after losing one of his strings? And you know what came to mind? You know the answer that came to mind? It's that here was a man who had been practicing all his life. This might have taken him by surprise, but he was in a great position because he had put in the work ahead of time as well. How many times have you found yourself in a position where you had to play with fewer strings or keys needed? Now, it may not have been a musical piece, but it might have been the pieces of your life. What did you do? Did you pack up and leave or did you take the time to modulate and adjust as needed? Maybe you've had a rough start to life. Maybe one or both of your parents were missing. Maybe you find yourself in situations where you never quite have every piece that you need and you're expected to make bricks with no straws. I can recall times when I've been in school and I could not afford the books that I needed for my classes. So I had to readjust, whether it meant borrowing a book from a friend and going home and taking as many notes as I could or taking pictures of the reading assignments. But I heard the greatest testimony this week from someone who is now a preacher. She said that she'd been a high school dropout. She'd left school after only taking in two weeks of freshman year. However, years down the line, she decided to go back and take her GED test and she passed on the first try. She then applied to universities in her area and was accepted into one of the best ones. She was then able to complete her degree, not only that, but while working full time and taking care of her son. This reminds me that no matter what we may be facing in life, there's always a way for us. There's always an opportunity for us to adjust and start over. Whatever you may be experiencing in life, I hope you find yourself in a position where you can adjust, modulate, and recompose the masterpiece of your life. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I hope 
I really hope that you were able to gather some nuggets from today's story. I look forward to sharing another story with you next week, so tune in again. But before you go, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it encouraging.